The applause started even before the train doors opened. A scene repeated with every arrival in Vienna. Those coming out of the cars looking surprised, amazed, overwhelmed that this outpouring of hospitality was all for them. How are you feeling? I feel very, very blessed. <laughs> Arabic speaking volunteers to help, police clearing a path down the platform. And just about everywhere, people handing out food, handing out coffee, tea, and cups of soup. One man arrived with a dozen pizzas. Another man stood for hours offering a free Wi-Fi hotspot. Username, Refugees Welcome. I think the most important thing is that they finally felt really welcome. They finally felt, actually, my trauma, my tragedy, it's over. The Austrians timed it so the refugees coming off this train, all they had to do was walk around there and get on a second train that would take them to Munich. This young Syrian did not want his face shown. I have in your life. Really, yeah. I have in your life. Really, you think mm -hmm. so now? Yes, I have in your life. Of the 7,000 refugees who arrived here yesterday, only 40 asked for asylum in Austria. The rest went on to Germany, which has said there is no limit on the number of war refugees it will take in. Very happy. We are very happy, so happy. As Cozy Hamadi watched everybody else getting on trains for Munich, he decided to stay right okay. where he is. Okay. I hope to stay here. I hope. I hope. I hope to stay here. By one estimate, there was one volunteer for every two refugees who arrived here today. That's likely an exaggeration, but it does show, Sandy, the level of support and generosity for people who risked so much getting here. All right, thank you, Paul. CTV's Paul Workman in Vienna.